Okay, your presenter, which is I, needs a shake. Uh, because I looked at this game, Mines versus Freiburg. Mines at plus 130, Freiburg plus 190. Look what I went with in my right. I didn't do it in the end, but I actually wrote under two and a half goals at plus 105 in this game and then thought, hang on a minute, I'm in the Bundesliga. How often do you see unders? I'm thinking Mines and maybe not scoring. Freiburg coming off of a Europa League performance uh, on Thursday night, a little bit leggy. I'm thinking to myself, I don't see three goals in this game. And then I had to say, no, no, no. The men in white coats will be at my door if I say to everyone on a Friday morning that I've gone with an under uh, two and a half, not three and a half in the Bundesliga. Um, oh, stinch. Draw at plus 240 is obvious because I've got this 1-1. One, one. Best case scenario. Yeah, I mean, whenever you have a, a lower scoring expected game, <clears throat> the draw is uh, is always a runner because uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's there's a higher chance of it happening if you have zero goals, if you have two goals, if it's two goals, there's a good chance it'd be one one, for example. So it's always it's always a runner at the at these sorts of prices. I just thought that uh, Mainz were were too short here. Um, I know they recently got a, a new manager, but. Their results are still very, very up and down. Beat Leipzig in his first game in charge, but then failed to beat Darmstadt um, due last week uh, away at Hoffenheim. I just, you just can't really predict them. But one thing, one thing we do know is they don't. They haven't been winning football matches, and it's still the same set of players there. They failed to win 16 of their last 17 Bundesliga matches. Like, you can't be backing them at plus 130. I mean, plus 130 basically says. They're the same ability as Freiburg. And I think we've seen over the, the last at least two seasons that Freiburg are, are definitely a level above. So I know there might might some people might have a few reservations because Freiburg had to play Thursday. But it was it was easy for them, wasn't it? They beat Olympia. Freiburg are better than mine, so. though, aren't they? Freiburg yeah, that's what I mean. That's what I would say. Yeah, so that that in my mind, that means mine should be here sort of plus 150, plus 155 with home advantage, essentially. So if uh, on neutral ground, you definitely have Freiburg favourites. Um, and this basically says the odds, plus 130, plus 190, that if it was played on neutral ground, it'd be a pick -em. And uh, yeah, yeah, just think Freiburg, as you say, definitely a, a level above. Um, Mainz have been faves five times this season of 1-0. Uh, and they failed to be any of Darmstadt, Bochum, Augsburg, Bremen or Union Berlin. They lost 3 0 away at Hertha in the Cup. And um, Freiburg have lost five games, but they've all been against the top five and they're unbeaten against the rest of the league. And that's exactly what I think a Freiburg team does. They're efficient. And uh, yeah, as I say, excellent preparation with a warm up of, of a 5 0 victory against uh, Olympiakos, who, who are obviously not uh, a terrible um, team that you come up against in Europe. So. Yeah, really easy bet here. Freiburg plus a quarter. I'd probably be happy to back sort of Freiburg, draw no bet if they ended up going to, to that line as well. Yeah, I think they, I, this is what I was saying at the start to show that if you actually spun some of these numbers around, if Freiburg were plus 130 and Mines were plus 190, I'd think that Mines were just maybe a little bit too big, but I wouldn't be like shocked. But the draw at plus 240, Alex, I'm not running away from that. I was going to go draw half-time. I see mine sitting back. They got like a 1-1 draw again last week. Freiburg are entitled to be a bit leggy. I think it's almost like a banker material of this being a draw at half-time or under one goal first half. Yeah, I'm a, a bit scared of... Uh, yes, uh, I understand the fact that Freiburg played uh, midweek Thursday against Olympiacos, but they made their life very easy, 4-0 at halftime. And after that, uh, they started uh, uh, to, to change in personnel with... Uh, uh, five quick uh, uh, replacements uh, coming uh, uh, to the pitch. You know, I, I think that Freiburg is by far the better team between these two teams. I think that uh, they are also full of confidence. I think that, yes, Mainz has a new manager and uh, they started to pick up some points uh, here and there and uh, they might uh, save themselves, them, themselves from getting relegated. But the value is totally on Freiburg, uh, even though uh, Mainz uh, have won more Bundesliga games against uh, Freiburg than against any other team. So they have a pretty good record from 28 games against Freiburg. They, they won 14 and they only lost seven of them. But uh, I don't think Freiburg loses this game. And that 0.25 plus 2.25. 
to, to, to Freiburg uh, really gives me p- p- a good sign of value here at minus 120. I would uh, I would even go with PK uh, at plus 125 right now uh, at BetUS. If you go now to check uh, at alternative uh, uh, lines, Asian lines, um, you could uh, you can find the PK at plus 125 right now. Uh, I don't see Mainz winning at all. I see Freiburg scoring twice, even though Mainz lately are playing better at the back. Uh, yeah, there is. I think there is no possible way Freiburg loses this game. But it's Bundesliga, and I let it alone. You know. <laughs> yeah, and that and that's why I actually uh, let, came I, off I, the I, under I forgot, two and a half. I, I forgot to mention that, that they are missing Onisivo. I think that. Uh, it's the most impl- important player uh, for Mainz in the attacking uh, line. Uh, they are missing also uh, Gilavoki, Onisivo. So two imp- some, some important players. Also Freiburg are hit by injuries, but it's like that that front line. I absolutely love it with uh, uh, Greek for Gregoric and uh, also Doan. I, I think yeah. that they are punching above their weight, but they are very good uh, players in my opinion. Yeah, but again, I, and, I, and I totally agree, uh, everything you've said. But mines don't come out of their holes. Um, and That's true. Also. I think we're missing, I think we're missing a, 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 a winner here. Go to betus.com. Go to the prop builder and have under shots on goal for mines. So mines won't, uh, may, maybe won't even have eight. And the line will probably be at like 15. Because mines will be making sure that they don't go behind. They go behind against Freiburg. That's it. Game over for me. Um, But I can't split them. And when you cannot split them, you have to go for the draw. I like the draw halftime. I didn't go that way, but I did actually. I've got this down as being 1-1 draw, uh, and that's it. And I think if mines go 1-0 up, then I think Freiburg will definitely get back in the game, and it could be a live bet of Freiburg double chance uh, 1-0 down. Let's have a little look at the official picks. There you go, Freiburg plus 0.25, minus 120 for me. I've just gone straight draw, plus 240. And if you want to push me, I've gone 1-1. One, one. 